All this month, get up to $50 off any Android smartphone from Appalachian Wireless. Any Android you desire. All $50 off with two-year agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Yesterday, we heard from an attorney from the Prestonsburg Public Defender's Office who says the jails are full of not yet convicted inmates who spend months incarcerated due to unreasonable bonds. Today, we hear from the prosecution's perspective on the matter. From the prosecution standpoint, from our end, we're more concerned with the, the end result. You know, ultimately what's going to happen with the person that has the case. If the person uh, is a drug trafficker, they're almost always going to face some prison time based on the plea agreements that we would offer or go to trial. It's a little bit of a force for the trees kind of thing. We try not to get so upset about the bond issue because we understand that even though they may be out on bond now, they're ultimately going to be looking at going to prison at some point once the case is resolved. Turner says although the public's point of view on the matter differs from his, he understands where they are coming from. From the public standpoint, you know, they, understandably, uh, they're more concerned sometimes with the immediate aftermath of the arrest and what they see is, well, this guy got arrested, now he's back out. Turner goes on to give two main reasons for what he says are the largest numbers of people out on bond he has ever seen. There's the cost component uh, that the state and the judges are under tremendous pressure to try to keep people out of jail as much as possible, try to keep the costs down. So that's a big part of it. And then it's just the, the political movement that we see now uh, is toward decriminalization, anti-incarceration, pro-treatment, those kinds of things, which are all good. Uh, but it's resulted in more people being out of jail that otherwise would have been in. There's more people out on bond than there ever was before. And like I say, and that's, it's really a function of those things. Now that you've heard compelling arguments from both the prosecution and the defense, do you think suspected drug offenders are getting reasonable bonds? You be the judge. Reporting from Prestonsburg, I'm Sean Allen for EKB News.